Oh, well, that was uh, very easy for Portugal. Congratulations. 6-1. Wow. And uh, somebody called Pepe or Pep. Have you heard of him? They've been around for like the last hundred years. This guy is really good. Getting better with the edge, just like Thiago Silva. Oh my goodness. Portugal, Portugal are uh, advancing people to the quarterfinal. It's getting testier. It's getting more interesting. Before anything, please don't forget to help your brother out. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment down below. Share. Only one click away, my friends. Thank you so much for helping the channel. Let's go. Anyways, people. <laughs> Pepe. How old is Pepe again? 139 years old. But, you know, still playing football in a very high level. 37 years old, Pepe. What a... Well, what a goal. Did you see the goal? You have to see. Incredible. So, 6-1 to Portugal. Gonzalo Ramos. Remember the name. A hat trick. The youngest uh, player to score. A hat trick in the World Cup after the King Pele. The King Pele still hold, like, you know, everything. But this guy here... Uh, is a, is a very good, you know. Gonzalo is very very good. Let uh, let's see a little bit of details about what happened here. Put this bigger. There you have it. So Portugal really got bowlers everywhere. Cristiano Ronaldo was benched, rightly so, because somebody who replaced him. Ended up by scoring a hat trick. Somehow, to a certain extent, people need to understand that Cristiano Ronaldo is holding teams back. Not only the national team, the club level. We saw it at Manchester United. He doesn't want to be benched. But when he's benched, and then the dynamic change because you actually have 11 players who are giving everything instead of working for somebody who is not really doing much, who is just waiting for the ball so he can score and get all the credit. So let's be honest here. We all like Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, a, a great career. But let's just be honest for once here and say Cristiano Ronaldo need to understand that it's not the edge of giving people attitude. It's the edge of being humble and understand that time has changed and you are going to the end of your career and it's time to have a good attitude just to ensure the transition with the young generation so oh well manuel akanji he scored for switzerland and i forgot even to mention um rafael guerrero for for portugal with a, a goal and the last one by the, the star boy himself, Mr. Rafael Leao. I don't know how much that guy is going to cost, but Chelsea and other teams are going to be fighting and to pay probably $150 million on him or even more than that because that guy is going to be right on top there fighting with uh, the, the Mbappe, the, the Haaland. Not exactly the same level, but the, le the level below them if that makes sense a little bit below them but that guy is really really a bowler and we have to respect that uh yeah let's check on statistics here it doesn't matter at the end portugal 14 shot nine of them on target switzerland one uh 10 10 shots three of them on on target uh, Switzerland actually got more possession, 53%, 47 only for Portugal, but at the end, 6-1. <laughs> you see? So possession means nothing. You have to be clinical, and that is the most important. Hmm. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Anyways, my people, let's go and see what you beautiful people have been saying on social media. I think social media right now is getting crazy comparing Cristiano Ronaldo and, uh, you know, Ramos, Gonzalo Ramos. The guy, I don't know, he, he's so good. He's so good. The kind of goals that he scored, proper, proper number nine goals. And those kind of goals... Cristiano Ronaldo is not able to score them anymore, unfortunately. So, for the next round, look at that. Netherlands against Argentina is going to be fire. I think Argentina are going to win it. Croatia against Brazil. Brazil to win it. <laughs> England, France. France to win it, of course. Portugal, Morocco. Morocco to win it. Morocco is going to be the first African country to qualify for the semi-finals of the World Cup. You heard here first. Yeah, I'm speaking with my chest up. Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, people, uh, fingers crossed. We're going to have to pray and pray for Morocco because just 90 minutes away from making that historical semi-final of the world cup wow the underdog i am going with the underdog this uh, this world cup it might not happen but i am going to keep faith you know what i mean i'm going to keep faith there's nothing you can do about it <laughs> that's the way it is let's check on some pictures here from the gallery today pepe celebrating Cristiano Ronaldo actually scored, but it was an offside goal. Uh, Pierce Morgan is going to say it wasn't an uh, offside goal, of course. And um, and Ronaldo is not going to be is uh, is not going to be happy. They're going to draw some kind of line to show that he, you know, ran before uh, you know, exactly the time the time that the ball was, you know, was sent to him and all that but we know we know how all that goes right so cristiano ronaldo imagine if he scored that goal everybody was going to to forget about ramos they were going to forget about the hat trick it was going to be all about cristiano ronaldo goal and he was going to get the man of the match regardless if he scored that goal even if he came in the second half to play for the last 15 minutes that's the way business works you know it's all about who's gonna sell more who's gonna bring me more money congratulations to portugal and especially to ramos for his hat trick and rafael leao wow he's cool calm collected he makes everything looks easy the way he scored that goal man many strikers at chelsea football club they don't have that iq Nothing, no skill, no IQ to see that gap.